Hello, this is Janet16 and welcome to the first video of what I collect. Um, I put a link in the description if you haven't saw the video explaining what these videos are going to be about. Um, but I'm going to get straight into it. So, I collect many things and the new thing I'm collecting is Hot Wheels. And that's what's going to start this series off. So I have several Hot Wheels cars here to show you. Um, we'll start with the first one I bought the mystery machine now all these are going to stay sealed like I mentioned in the video explaining about this video um, I collect for future reference um, I don't plan to sell any of these these are for me and for me only these will be hung up in the Lego shed on a proper rack on display always on display um, I'm just bringing closer so I can show every single one there we go so what a way to start the new collection um, of Hot Wheels Scooby Doo probably my f second favourite kids show growing up um, I watched it every day after school and before school actually it was on some mornings before school and on the weekends I was probably watching the movies of this um, I really did enjoy it um, so yeah I, I found this in a my local news agents and I thought yeah let's start a collection now so I picked this one up and really cheap like £1.50 I think I paid for this one so I put in now make sure I've got enough room they will be blurred because I'll show them close up every time uh, every time I show you one I'll show you them um, all zoomed in on the floor so this is the next one this is a BMW 73 CS Al race car now I'm only these Hot Wheels cars. I'm only collecting cars that take my fancy and cars I've always wanted, um, and I have always wanted one of these BMWs. But I'm not gonna buy like Hot Wheel cars that I I don't like. I'm only gonna buy cars that I like. If that makes sense. So the collection don't get out of hand. Um, but yeah, this is pretty jazzy. Uh, nice, always nice to have a Castro livery on a car. Um, I've always liked Castro liveries and this would be a touring car probably DTM um, the Dutch touring car series but number seven very nice not my favorite number but it do so it's another um, the next one I picked up was this Nissan Ferry Lady uh, really nice car this one is and and again a race spec I do like the race spec cars especially the classic cars and it's a very nice car I mean I can't show you too much because I don't want to take, I'm not taking them out of the packaging they will stay sealed um, and I gotta make sure the cards very good on them as well um, and so far the cards been very good on these um, this is the next one I picked up I am doing these in order from when I picked them up this is a Forza Motorsport Xbox car. Now, apparently these are gonna these are collectible. Now I didn't know that when I picked it up, um, but it's nice to know. I don't want this Hot Wheels getting out of hand with me because when I collect something, I go pretty mad with it. Like the Triumph Minute ships at the moment. <laughs> um, the next two I picked up, I picked these up together. I didn't know they existed. This is Dan Weldon's Indy car. A Hot Wheels edition they done in 2012. I can't remember when he died. He did sadly die in a bad crash at Daytona. I think it was Daytona. Um, and I was actually watching that race. It was uh, very sad because his first proper indie car race I had watched. Um, I mean, I'd watched bits over and over, like on telly when it was on, but not a proper race. And I watched it. And yeah, it was a sad race. But yeah. I got two of these, I was really pleased. The reason I got two is because, again, future reference, I don't plan to sell them, but I don't know, They, they. I just like them. I just like this car, damn well done. It's damn well done, so I had to have two. Um, next, we have, well, we have two more left. Um, I picked this one up from Entertainer in the UK, Gran Turismo Edition, GT40. Now the reason I picked this one up is because I drove this car a lot on the Gran Turismo games. Um, in fact it won me at least 50% of the uh, game, <laughs> the races. So I picked this one up and these are quite 
dearer, they're about £2.50. But I wanted to get this one because I did drive this car a lot on the game. Um, lastly, we have one more to go. And I wasn't planning to buy this. Um, but yeah. Ultimate Spider Man. Um, this is Lizard. You may remember him from The Amazing Spider Man. Uh, yeah, The Ultimate. Uh, no, The Amazing Spider Man. Um, but yeah, I picked that one up. And it was £3, but I had a pound sticker on every other one now was £3. I said, well, really, it should be a uh, pound, shouldn't it? Because she was going to charge me free. And she said, oh, very sorry. And um, she got a manager and she said, yep, yeah, you can have it for a pound. So I was very happy with that. So that's it for this first video of what I collect. Now, let me just zoom in. I know the camera wants to pack up on me at any second. But, yeah, so I picked up some of these cars, like I said. And uh, there's a bit of a light shine on them. And um, these will be hung up in the shed. I will be filming another what I collect video after this one. But that will be uploaded in a couple of days. But let me know what you think of this first video. And if you're a Hot Wheels fan, let me know. I know not everyone collects Hot Wheels. But there will be stuff in these videos that you probably collect. Like model railways and model cars like mini champs of fun one cars so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i shall see you all soon bye for now